the value of the pieces. One should keep in mind the value of the pieces at all times, as it will be your guiding light in your decision of how to move about the board. If you are in a position to take a pawn but lose your queen, would that be a good idea? Perhaps not. However, if you are in a situation where you would lose a knight. But take a bishop. That might be a good idea, because they have the same relative value. Let's see it in action now. Here we go. It's White's turn to move, and lo and behold, the Queen has an opportunity to take the pawn. Now, should the Queen take the pawn, what will happen if the Queen takes the pawn? Well, Black's pawn could respond by capturing the queen. Is this a good idea? Well, perhaps not. A queen for a pawn is a bad trade. And now, perhaps the chart that I showed you at the beginning has a bit more significance. Let's take another look at it. The king's value is infinite. If the king is dead. The game is over. The queen is worth nine points, really a lot. The rook is worth five. The bishop three. The knight three. Consider they can do different things, but the value is the same, and the pawn is worth one. Commit this to memory. It will become very useful. Now let's watch a real proper game, and. Think about the relative value of the pieces. Join me now, will you? <laughs> 